In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful effect with Elementor Pro. You're going to need no code snippets and no plugin. This is a very simple tutorial to go through and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This tutorial, all we're going to need is Elementor Pro and for the Elementor settings, we're not going to need to enable Flexbox. We're going to just use the default uh, sections that um, comes with Elementor and that's all we're going to need to get started with this tutorial. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the first setting. So this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a column. We're going to make sure no, we're going to add in a section with two columns. We're going to click on the section. We're going to give it a width of 13, 13 and the min height. We're going to go down to VH. I'm going to give this a height of 100. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to style. I'm going to start working on the background. So we're going to click on this. I'm going to add in this image over here gonna click cover I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go cover so now we're gonna go down here we're gonna go to background overlay I'm gonna click on gradient and we're gonna color this one in black and we're gonna color this one in uh, black as well but zero opacity so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go over to location and we're gonna give this a location of 55 so I'm just gonna type it in And then we're going to leave this one here at 100 and if for opacity we're just going to give it maximum and then for the angle we're going to give it an angle of 62. So 62. Great so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our heading over here so we're going to go to add in heading and we're going to see what this one says here so it says immerse your, yourself in the game copy that Put that in there. Now we're gonna to go to style. I'm gonna color this in white, and for the typography, I'm gonna be using Anton. Gonna leave it at 600 bold, but we're gonna give it a size of 107. Great, and we're gonna put an uppercase. Sorry, the uppercase, but we're gonna put an uppercase. So let's see how that one looks now. Perfect actually meant to say 122 yeah 122 we're going to give that size of 122 and then we're going to add in our description so i'm going to go to text editor over here copy what this one says here boom paste that in and now we're going to go to style we're going to color it in white give it a font family of poppins give it a bold gonna capitalize this gonna give it a size of second so 19 and we're going to wait this there's an issue with this colored in white but it's still on the default color I don't know why that's doing that. It probably won't do it for you. I think it's just my. So I'm going to try it again and see. Okay, there we go. That was just a problem with my Elementor. That will do that same issue for you. So basically, you're just going to do the exact same thing. Go to Poppins. 600. Style 19. I mean, size 19. Uh, capitalize it. And I'm going to put in our text. Okay, seems to be when I put in this text, I'm just going to write it out. So I'm just going to skip past this. Okay, so that's done now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our button. So we're going to go over to button here it's going to be an add cart button but uh this is just for a uh, test video so if you actually had an actual add to cart button then you could just put in that one but for this one we're just going to write in add to cart and i'm going to go to icon library i'm going to go type up cart i'm going to add in this one here you guys could add in a different one but i'm going to add in this one over here so now we're going to go to style i'm going to change this one to anton And now we're going to leave it at 500 but we're going to change the size to 20. 
19 sorry Ooh. 19 sorry uppercase transform it to uppercase um and that's it for there and then we're going to change the background color of the button we're going to change it to white the radius we're going to leave it to zero and we're going to change the text color to black back over here so now what we're going to do is firstly i don't like the way this one is a bit too down from there so what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, editor we're going to go to padding i mean margin and i'm just going to go give that minus 24 and now we're going to go back here and we're going to go to box shadow going to go to color and i'm going to move this over to here so right here i'm going to go to the very top over here now that we got our color in, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the blur and just increase the spread by two. Perfect. So now that, that's looking uh, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we need to add in our image over here. So to do that, we're going to go back to add element. We're going to go add image. I want to add the image of the headphone that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So it's this one over here. Perfect. So now we're going to do a quick edit to the sections that we'll need later on in the video for the parallax effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to, we're going to go back here. We're going to go to scrolling effect over here. We're going to enable that. You you are going to need Google, I mean, Elementor Pro for this uh, feature here, the scrolling effects one. But we're going to go over to scale. I was going to turn that on. It's perfect. So now we're going to add in our second section this one over here so what we're going to do is pretty much the very same thing as this one we're going to add in a new one with two columns we're going to give it a width of 13 13 min height we're going to go to vh we're going to click on 100 we're going to give it a background of fully black and now we're going to add in our image over here this time we're going to start off with the image. We're going to add in this image here. This was the image we used, yeah. So we're going to add in this image here. We're going to give it a maximum width. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to go to minus 107 for the all around uh, margins. So we're just going to give it 107. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our headings. So what does this one say? It's going to say 50 minimum diameter. I'm going to copy this one. Hopefully it lets us actually change the style. Um, okay. Yeah, it did. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Anton. For the size, we're going to go with 100 this time. I'm going to leave that 600. I'm going to go to uppercase. Perfect. Now we're going to add in our text description. But with this one, since it's the same style as the one we all used over here, we could just copy this one. And we're just going to paste it here. And there we go. So now what we're also going to do, we're not going to see the effects of this now, but we're going to use it for later with the parallax effect. So we're going to click on this and we're going to go to motion effects. I'm going to go to entrance. I'm going to go fade in. I'm going to go slow. I'm going to give this 100. I'm going to do that with the rest of every uh, element in this section. So we're going to do for the heading. I'm also going to do for the text editor. So we're going to go to fade in. I'm going to give it slow. 100. We're going to go here. Do the same thing. Entrance. Fade in. Slow. 100. Great, so now we're going to add in this section over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in this heading as well. I mean the section, so we're going to go exact same thing. 13, 13, height, VH, 100. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our background image. So we're going to go to style, we're going to go to background, and we're going to add in our image, and our image is this one over here. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our text. So we're going to copy this on leash versatile brilliance. Copy Go over here, add in our heading. Our heading is the exact same as this one. So we can actually just copy this one over here. And we could just copy it. 
okay we didn't expect that to happen so we're going to try it again or if that doesn't work we're just going to type it you know i'll just type it Okay, so now what we're going to do is again we could just copy in this one and put in our text editor also and we could copy our text editor that's over here so we're going to copy that perfect so we could just do that over here and just copy in our text editor so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our final section which is this one over here so what we're so like we're gonna add in our heading this one's pretty much the same as the other one so width 13 13 height we're gonna go vh i want to give it 100 100 and then we're going to give it a background of black I'm gonna go background I'm gonna go here to black we're gonna go to background overlay i'm gonna add in our background image of waves and now we're going to go down to the space size we're going to go to contain and then for position we're going to go down to custom for x we're going to leave it at zero and then for y we're going to give it 427 perfect so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add in our image first so we're going to go into image we're going to put it on the right side i'm going to add in this one here perfect and now we're going to add in our headings so this heading is going to be a different size uh, from these ones and these ones. That's why I'm not going to copy and paste this on it. So I'm just going to uh, put in our heading from this size. Okay, so now we're going to go to style. I'm going to color this one in white. I'm going to go to Anton. I'm going to give it a height of 72. And then we're going to leave it as that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our um, our icon uh, list over here. So we're going to go down to add elements. We're going to go to icon box. Going to add in our icon box here. We're going to give it a left. We're going to remove the description. And for the first one, we're going to uh, give it immersive audio. So for, for a title, we're going to go immersive audio. And then for here, I'm going to go to wave. We're going to add in this one here. And then what we're going to do is where it says view, we're going to go over to stacked. And then we're going to go here to our editor. And for the space for the icon size, we're going to give this a size of 22. And then for the spacing, we're going to give it a spacing of 19. And then for the padding, we're going to give a padding of 19 also. No, sorry, we're gonna leave it at eight. Looks better at eight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to black, uh, white. We're gonna color it in white, and then for the primary, no, for the secondary. Always get this one so confusing. The primary and the secondary. I'm gonna give this this color, lightish hot pink. No, it's the other way around. I told you guys I always get this one confused. All right, I'm just gonna save this color. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, so for the primary, we're going to put it in for the color that we want the background to be. And then for the secondary, that's the one we actually want the wave uh, icon to be. So for the content, we're going to go over and we'll put this for white. Put this in for white. We're going to go and we're going to give this poppins. Going to give it a size of 19. And then we're going to go down to box. I'm going to go over here to middle. Sorry, we're going to go to. There we go. Yeah, don't know why it didn't work the first time. But we're going to go and give it a middle. So you see how that looks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this two more times. And I'm going to go and uh, copy noise cancel isolation for the second one. And I'm just going to go and type in a cancel. 
I'm not really a big fan of all of the icons that are given to us um, defaultly with the Elementor. So usually you could get this if you have a place where you get uh, your icons from somewhere else or if you know some plugins where you can get better animations, I mean icons, then you could do that as well. I'm just using this for the YouTube video. So for the last one, I'm going to go to wired or wireless. And I'm just going to go and give it Wi-Fi. I'm going to give it this icon and I'm going to put in this one here. And then for here, we're going to do the same thing that we did before. So we're going to give it a motion effect. We're going to go over, we're going to go fade in and it's going to be 100 and it's going to be slow. Same here. It's going to be fade in, motion is slow. And then for here, it's going to be the same thing, but here we can just copy and paste it for the other two. So we're going to go motion effect, enhance, fade in, slow, 100. And I'm going to copy, paste style. Paste style. Make sure you paste the style and not the actual thing. So now that the, we have all of this done, we have all of the uh, sections completed. Now we want to add in the actual effects of the parallax or when you scroll, um, the thing stays. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the first section over here. We're going to um, go to the first section. We're going to go to advance. And now we're going to go over to, we're going to go over to motion effects. I'm going to go onto sticky. I'm going to click on top. But when we do that, I'm trying to scroll and you see nothing is moving. You could try it yourself if you're uh, doing the tutorial yourself. When you try to scroll down, nothing moves. The reason for that is because we need to go to advance and we need to go to Z index and we need to go and put it on zero. So now we can move. But we're going to do the exact same thing for all the other sections, but this is going to go down um, in number. So the lower the section goes down, the higher the number is. So for the second one, it's going to be one. For, this, uh, for the third one, it will be two because the first one is zero. So for the third one will be two, for the fourth one, it will be three and so on. So now we're gonna go over to our second section. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna go over to motion effect. I'm gonna give it a top and we're gonna go back to advanced. I'm gonna give it a Z index of one. And what I'm actually need, gonna need to do because I actually can't see the rest of it because I can't scroll down. We're gonna have to open our navigation bar and we're gonna go over to here and then we're gonna go over to Motion effects, gonna click on top, gonna go to Z index, gonna give this one, um, I think it's two, this one will be two. And then for the last one, we're gonna go over to our second section, gonna go over to motion effects, gonna give it top, and I'm gonna go to advanced, and I'm gonna give this one three. Okay, so now let's see how that looks. So we're gonna publish it, and then we're going to view it on the web. So let's see. So let's refresh it again and see. And there we have it guys. That is the full tutorial of how to create the parallax effect on Elementor Pro. I hope this was completely simple for you guys to follow. Uh, you guys didn't need any uh, plugins. All you guys would have needed was Elementor Pro and there was no code snippets and everything like that. And I hope you guys were able to follow this tutorial through. Thank you and make sure you like and subscribe.